Got another project under my belt. 88,500. That I got from uh, my partner, man. Actually, the guy that's working on my car. I got it from him. The guy that's uh, gonna do my uh, work on my lifters. It's in pretty good shape, body-wise and everything. Inside could use a lot of work in the inside. Yeah. Man, uh, for the price I paid for it, I had to get it, though. Like I said, the body is in great shape. That's the only damage damage, really. And beside the door. Man, the uh, door ain't closing either. Nope. Door don't close either. I thought it closed. Let me see. Oh. Sorry about that, you two. You got to pick up on the door. Pick up on the door and it'll close. Well, long story short, I got the car from his dad. His dad sold, I mean, his dad sold me the truck. And uh, he just wanted it out of his yard. And uh, I bought it from him. And guess what, YouTube? Paid a hundred and fifty dollars for this truck. Paid a hundred and fifty dollars for this truck. Not in a rush at all with this truck because I already got too many projects. I would consider myself having too many projects as it is. I still got my my suburban, and I also have this. Got the engine in it. He said it cranked and run. Just put a starter on it. He said just put a starter on it. It crank and run. Thing is with this truck, he don't have a title. Long story short, long story short, this truck sat in his yard. Is his the guy that's working on my car is his daddy's no is his wife's brother car his wife's brother car and uh the daddy just wanted it out of the yard and he can't find a title to it or whatever so i'm trying to think of a way how i can get a title unless i buy another truck and y'all already know what that mean if i buy another truck that's wrecked with a good title. So we don't have to speak on that part, but if you caught that line, should I do it? Buy another truck, good title. And uh, we know what goes down from there if I buy another truck. But uh, man, look at the body on it. Yeah, he wanted it out of his yard, out of his yard. He said, man, Give me 150 for it. Man, you can have it. Get it out of my yard. Yeah, I do it. I can actually get my money back by selling this uh this toolbox. I can sell this toolbox for 150 and get my money back. You know what I'm saying? And uh hold out on fixing it. Like I say, I'm not in a rush to fix it, fix it. Like I I still got my other box Chevy and my other box Chevy in the garage, so we ain't in no big rush to uh get it going, get it running. So, like I say, what you think, YouTube, about the title situation? You know what I mean? Uh, mechanic lien situation or whatever you call it, or buy another truck, and you know, you know what goes down from there if I buy another truck. Saying so, 
Y'all give me some ideas. Y'all give me some pointers. Man, y'all like, comment, subscribe. It's an 88. And uh, body in good shape, man. Just need some door repair right there. Little small imperfections. Got a door ding right there. But other than that, overall, man, it's in good shape, man. It's in good shape. So, uh, man, $150 investment, no title. Hey, man, push come to shove. I can actually, I'm thinking about buying another truck. If I paid $150 for this, I can always buy another truck with a good title. And we know what happens when we buy another truck with a good title. So. It's an 88. I think I see 88 on there. It's kind of covered up, but uh, hey, hey man, look at that. I didn't notice. Look at that dashboard. That's in good shape. Just need cleaning up real good. And uh, like I say, man, what would be the quickest way? To title this truck you know what I'm saying like I say we talking we talking about another truck or we talking about going through all of this damn paperwork hey y'all know the cutlass that I sold dude all right I got the uh, title back for the box Chevy I got the title back for the white box Chevy I filed for a lost title for the cutlass and man that title ain't been back yet you know what I'm saying? I'm guessing because COVID. I'm guessing because of uh, the disaster going on. Man, they haven't sent the title back yet to the Cutlass, man. And this, he constantly hit me up about it. And I'm like, man, they they just ain't sent it. Uh, why they sent the Box Chevy title and didn't send the Cutlass title? I don't know. That's crazy. But they didn't send the title. So I'm about to call them this morning and see what's going on. Why they why why they ain't sent the title yet? And uh, we're gonna go from there. But man, this is another project, man. Um, I think it's another project because it always can go for sale. Like I said, $150. I literally paid $150 for this truck. I towed it home with that thing right there. Hooked the chain on the back of that uh, suburban. And drug it to the house, set it on the side of my house to uh, eventually work on it. So, hey, you two, let me know what you think I ought to do, man. Buy another truck, set it right here, and go to town. You know what happens if I buy another truck with a good title and stuff like that. You know, I go to town on this one and that one and make me one good truck. Or should I just wait, 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 get the paperwork, wait it, file for a lost title, all of that crap? I don't know. Yeah, Suburban's still running good, man, too. I can't find the title to this thing, man. I got the title to it. I can't find it. 40 Series Flowmasters. Anyway, YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, give me some pointers, give me some ideas. What would you do? How would you rock with it?